Hey you guys, it's Earl coming to you live from EarlLJones.com. What's up? How have you been? All that good stuff, right? So, you know, I just need to put something out there and just talk about a few things real quick. So give me a couple of minutes, right? Number one, if you feel like you are just like, I'm about ready to give up on this thing called online marketing, or you feel like you're not really getting anywhere with your online marketing, you want to quit, whatever the case may be, I want to talk to you about that because you know what? Let's be blunt. I've been through that. I'm currently, you know, I've dealt with that, right? Because let me just be blunt. You know, back in 2016 when I started this, I've had success. You know, I built a, a email list. I've increased my Instagram traffic. Um, I have made sales online. You know, not just made sales online, but the things I've done offline in terms of my full-time job as a business banker, right? Uh, the amount of personal development and all that stuff comes from learning how to market online. And I got the success, right? And then I was like, in December 2016, I was like, oh, I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I was like, I'm just so sick of it. Because it's a lot of work, and I'm not going to deny it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of personal development. It takes a lot of energy and effort, right? But then I get sick recently, and I'm like, not like definitely sick, just the flu and blah, 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 right? Um, and then I have to stop, and I think, right? And then I come to realize something. What's my why, my why, and what were my wins? Two things, two things, your why and the wins that you've gotten. So when I look back on my why, you know, I have nieces and nephews and cousins that are much younger than me that are, you know, look up to me. And I'm like, do I really want to leave this planet, you know, not having set a pace or a foundation for which they can stand on? Not, in, you know, giving them money and stuff like that, but giving them, you know, a an example of, hey, Cousin Earl or Uncle Earl didn't know anything about online marketing, took some courses, did some things, and look at the results he got, right? Or or do I want them to look at me and kind of go, mm, well, you know, Uncle Earl didn't do it. Why should I do it? So that was one. Second why was, you know, um, I just want another I just want another skill set under my belt and I was like you know this is an important skill set because you no know, we you don't know what the market's going to do right let's be blunt we have no idea so you've got to be able to always be in a position to where you can find a way to create wealth abundance win right and learn how to market online is one of those things regardless of whether you're selling homes or you're an insurance agent whatever right and then when I look at my victories, my wins, regardless of how small they were, I didn't make millions, I didn't make six figures, right? But I did make sales. I didn't grow an email marketing list. I did get comments on my blog post and on my YouTube videos, right? Regardless, when you look at that, why would I quit? I mean, Let's break this down to another level. For those that are fishermen, do you stop fishing because you didn't catch any fish one day? Nope. For my bowlers out there, do we give up bowling because we haven't bowled a 300? Nope. My cyclist, do we stop cycling just because we didn't finish a 100 mile bike ride in four hours? Nope. Mm -mm. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? You're still driving your car, right? Yep. Mm hmm. So if we don't stop doing the things that we love and that we have fun doing, right? Because things didn't work out the way we want to, or we kind of felt like, ah, blah, right? Then this is no different. And when I stopped and I looked at my whys and my wins, I find myself picking back up the microphone, trying to get the light right, <laughs> and trying to record the videos so I can get back to doing something that I absolutely like. I love it. So if you're going through this, just remember that your why and look at your wins and focus on that. Let that help motivate you and stimulate you so that you can make something out of this. Because let's be blunt, you don't know who's watching. You don't know if your words of encouragement and support can really make a difference in a person's life. So just keep that thought in mind. All right. 
With that being said, like it, comment, share, right? Let me know what your thoughts are. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.